Photoshop patterns can be used with the art history brush. I'm using CS5, but you could do it with CS4, CS3, etc., PC or Mac. Now, layer, new fill layer, pattern, click OK. This is a pattern designed from graphicextras.com. Click OK. I'm going to flatten the image at this point. Now, just going to create another layer, new fill layer, pattern. Click OK. Just select a different pattern. Click OK. Flatten the image again. Now I'm going to fill the image with white, black, something. And once I've done that, I can actually go to the select one of these flattened images, which I'm just going to do. I'm just going to select that one with the art history brush. That's the art history brush. It's been selected beneath the history brush tool. And now you can set the style. So I'm going to go for the tight short option, but I could go for any of the others. Loose curl. Just apply. That was the pattern that was actually just there. So you can just apply the pattern. So I can change the size. The brush. Just quickly reduce it down a bit. So you can create unusual impressionistic designs using the patterns. Now I'm just going to quickly select the other flatten image. Which I created with the other pattern. So I can now just apply, say like in a different area. Now obviously create a, maybe a frame design with two different patterns, but of course you could use combinations of many patterns 